video, we're taking a look at this vac mask uh, 20 litre 1600 watt wet and dry vacuum cleaner. Hey, what's up, guys? Yes, it's your main man JB, and I literally just had this delivered five minutes ago, so I thought I'd share it with you while I open it up and, and take a look. Now, I've been dying to get myself a new vacuum for work and um, did a little bit of research and what have you and in terms of price and what this sucker can do I thought yes I'm going for this one um, so uh, let's, let's open it up and, and take a look what we've got we've got uh, an instruction manual we won't worry too much about that at the moment wow that's a big bag isn't it so I guess that's like a, a 20 litre bag um, I have ordered some of these as well, I've ordered a pack of five of these, but uh, I reckon that's going to hold quite a lot of dirt, so that's cool, I'm always going to need one of them when you first get it. So we've got a floor cleaner, that be right, so it's got brushes on there, it's got plastic on that side there, as you may be able to see, extension pole. One bit of an extension pole, another bit of an extension pole, the uh, bendy bit of the extension pole. So that's the missus just uh, getting in the way of the video. Uh, what we've got here, so this is the protective sponge I believe for the actual motor. So we'll have to look at that in a minute. Oh yeah, nice little brush attachment there that's a wheel that's another wheel where there's a wheel there's a way <laughs> get this packaging out more cardboard to fill up the recycling bin with oh there's something in here another wheel more packaging, more packaging, another wheel. So we've got two large straight wheels which don't turn and then you've got two smaller casters. So that would be good for pulling it round in whatever direction but without it actually swaying from side to side. So here we've got a tool uh, adapter so you can Put that on the end of your tool. Uh, then we've got a small, I forget what, you, what they call this, small nozzle. Um, so this is the um, lug where you can put a power tool in there and either have it on vacuum, have it turned off, or have it turned on so when you start your power tool then this turns on, which is really cool. I'm really excited about that. It's really cool for you at all. Um, there is something missing. Ah. <laughs> they, couldn't have, they couldn't have not given me a hose. Check it out there. They've wrapped that up nicely in there, haven't they? So here it is. It's good quality hose that does. And uh, ooh, it's like a small thing to put yourself in the face. Right, there we go. Look at that. Let's just put that to one side for a minute. So we've got this nice metal, nice shiny metal, uh, probably stainless steel, I imagine, as it's a wet and dry vacuum. Uh, but it's nice shiny stainless steel. Um, Vacuum. Sorry about the noise, a bit rattly with the old uh, clips on there, which are pretty robust. So let's just put that back into there for now. Like so, get that into the right position. Do those clips up. Like so. Okay. Let's uh, get the wheels and everything on and then we'll turn it on and, uh, and give it a go. Oh, 
speed up. I was just a little bit unsure of the filter situation, but we'll, we'll have a go at that in a moment. Um, I did go ahead and fit the hose. This is a 3.5 meter hose. It's supposed to be crush resistant. I mean, it does feel pretty tough. And I like the way this end section actually screws on to the bucket. I'm going to call this the bucket. I suppose it's a container, a vacuum container. But uh, as you can see, I've got the wheels on it now. And you've got these two back ones, which just go straight. And then you've got the two casters on the front, which allow you to pull it in any direction, I guess. And that's really annoying. I've got sensitive ears. Okay, so this is the filter, obviously. This is called the cartridge filter. So this is the cartridge filter, and you've got a retaining clip on the top there. So I'll just undo that, and then this should come off. So if you are if you are going to be using this for wet, for wet, for sucking up liquids, then you put the foam cover completely over the cage. So I'm not going to be using it or testing it out for wet, uh, wet uh, in this video, maybe in another video because I haven't really got anything and I don't want to start getting this all wet and what have you. Okay, so wet uh, filter that we need to put on it and I'm not using a wet filter. So, if you're using it for dry, then you've got this pre-filter nylon bag, which it says put around it and tie the drawstring. I'll just do that up. There we go. I guess that just keeps it from clogging up too much. I'm going to put the bag in the machine. What I like to do with these, because obviously the containers are a little bit rounded, I just tend to bend those a bit. They just tend to go on a bit, a bit further. Come on. There we go. I think I'm there. There we go, that's on. That's good. So now we can put the rest on top, like so. And we can do up these noisy tail clips. Oh, that is noisy. Okay, good. So we're all ready to rock and roll. Oh, I worked out this thing. I, uh, I had this the wrong way round. Duh. Do make sure you do all the setup, all the bag, all the filter and everything with that turned off and preferably unplugged. It does say that in the manual but safety first. Then we've got three different settings on here. We've got off one and two. So one is for Hoover, zero is for off and two is for connecting it to your power tools. And we'll have a go at that in a minute. So here we go, let's turn it on. Very nice, 1600 watt motor in there. And uh, it's not too bad actually. It's no noisier than my, um, my old vacuum. Um, and it does have an exhaust on it, a filtered exhaust which is this section here, and uh, let's just turn that off just in case, and there you can just undo that and pull this out, and also pull that out so you can replace the exhaust filter. On my other view, it doesn't have that, it just has an open hole, and that's it. Uh, so that's, I guess there's pros and cons. And the, one of the advantages to having this, it doesn't blow or it's unlikely to blow dust everywhere if you get an issue with the bag inside, which I do have with my other one. If the bag goes, then it just blows all the rubbish straight out and you're left with a bit of a mess. 
Um, but the good thing about it is you can put the hose on the exhaust and you can use it as a blower. But uh, to be honest, I'd rather have it um, have the exhaust filtered like this. So we'll just pop that back in there, push that down, and that's locked in. Now, what you've also got on here are all these ports to put these in. I'm not sure they go, goes quite there, because it kind of sticks out a bit, doesn't it? But if you put it on the front, there we go, I think they're supposed to go on the front. Like so, and then you can put your attachments like that there. That's what we're talking about. They can also go on there, and then you've also got these, not that one, that one, yeah. So we can put that on there, we can put that on there, we could put that on there if we wanted, and I guess, no, that's not for that either. I wonder whether that's going to be for this. Maybe it's for the. Maybe it's for. No, I don't know. Not quite sure what these ones are for. But uh, anyway, you can certainly load all your accessories on the Hoover, so it's all nice and tidy. It does have this hook here on the back as well, on that hook. So what is that for? What is that hook for? So on here, number eleven. It is power cord storage hook. Maybe wrap it round. I don't know. I guess so. Uh, ah, here, that. On the bottom. Spin that round. And I guess then you then do that. Well, it's a Hoover at the end of the day. Um, 20 litres, 1600 watt uh, motor, it's not too noisy, um, it's wet and dry and you can connect it up to your power tool. So let's check that out, I'm excited about that. So as you can see I've got my miter saw here and uh, this does have a couple of extraction points which is really nice and it really does pick up some dust if you've you know, if you've got a decent uh, vacuum on it, and I think this is certainly going to be the case. But um, what we can do here is put our power tool adapter on there. I'm just going to run this round the back, and I can actually fit that. That goes into the back of there, and fits quite nicely, like so. So that will pick up lots of dust. And the great thing is with this then, I can put the power tool in there. And that is called the power takeoff socket. So we're all on, the Hoover's plugged in, the saw is plugged in to the Hoover, and so let's uh, give it a go. I need to put the appropriate switch on. Hoover off. So the Hoover will stay on for about five seconds after you've turned the power tool off just to clear any debris from the pipe. So uh, I'm loving that, that's well cool. So checking out the box, we've got the, I can't quite see what that says, something filter, that's the cartridge filter, you've got the pre-filter which is the bag that goes over it, you've got the HEPA 13 filter which is the exhaust filter, you've got the metal bits there the, for the hose, you've got a, uh, an accessory there, accessory there, accessory there, you've got a three and a half meter hose. Uh, I don't know, oh that's the bag, the 20 litre bag that you get with it 
and then also the aqua filter for the wet operation. So I'm well pleased with this and uh, just can't wait to sort of start using it really. Um, you know, it's robust, it's not too heavy, it's not too big either. You could have gone, I could have gone for a, a 30 litre one, but this is actually perfect. It's bigger than my last one, but it's not too massive. Look, I've even got a little area on top to put your tools. How about that? Um, so yeah, great stuff, really like it. Right then, let's get to work. If you've got any questions or comments, or you want to say anything about this Hoover, then uh, put those in the comments box below. Um, yeah, cool man, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and all that jazz, and I'll see you lot in the next video.